Hello guys, welcome back to Simulated Heaven. I thought I would um, show you guys a video of Flight Simulator X as part of my new series. Like I said in my last video, my idea is to make a series which is talking about um, how to improve Flight Simulator X as much as possible using only freeware add-ons. After my experience with X-Plane 10 where I've spent so much money to get high quality payware add-ons to make the game a lot better and more HD, I was wondering, with only a $30 purchase of Flight Simulator X, how far can I get Flight Simulator X using only freeware, uh, freeware add-ons? So this is the first video in the series, this is just showing you guys what the game um, looks like in vanilla form. So I'm going to press shift and O hopefully so I can look around the cockpit. Now this is a Cessna Skyhawk so I thought this might be a good little airplane to look at for the to see what vanilla F, um, flight simulator X is like. Now the interior looks okay it's got some pretty okay textures for a default airplane um, it's just when you get up close to things as you would imagine when you get up close to it you can see it's not very HD as you can see but it's not that bad actually I thought it was going to be worse to be honest I thought it was going to be worse after you know because it's a reasonably old game I thought it was going to be worse I mean from from a, a distance the interior does not look that bad it looks pretty okay you know, you can't really complain. It's got some nice little details and things, as you, you know, but just not, when you get up close, just not that HD. And as you can see from the back of the airplane, that looks all kind of pixelated and stuff. So, but my expectations for this, for the vanilla version of this game were not that high. So um, I'm actually pleasantly surprised that it's not as bad as I thought. So let's look outside. Now again, outside here, if you're looking from a distance, it actually looks pretty okay with some pretty okay kind of details. Not bad at all. But then when you get up close, again, you can see it gets really pixelated. It's not very high res. However, I do think it's slightly better than I expected. So that's good. Okay. We are at Langley Airport in British Columbia in Canada. Now, the thing that is quite good with the default scenery, even with just the default scenery, is they do have 3D. They have these buildings and things. Okay, they're very, very basic, but at least they have a 3D element. Um, one of the things that is slightly disappointing with X-Plane 10 is the scenery is very flat, the default scenery. However, you can obviously add quite a lot of freeware and payware add-ons to that to make that a lot, a lot better. And I expect in the future that X-Plane will try to improve the, you know, that part of their, their game. But yeah, the, it seems like the vanilla flight sim x actually has some pretty okay 3d buildings but i would love to see with freeware add-ons how far i can go with that to make it look even better um the runway textures are not great as you can see quite unclear i'm sure i can find a mod to make that better now one thing i was quite surprised the trees actually look not bad the way they've made all of the trees in this game right now even look nicer than in X-Plane because I don't know certainly from a distance they seem to have more variety and they look more like real trees but I'm sure that I can also find a freeware add-on to improve that so that would be great um, so let's just try to take off shall we and see what it's like from the air direction and let's see how we go with this the default sounds the 
they're okay. Nothing amazing, but they're okay. Let's start our rotation. There you go, nice. Take off. I, I would just like to say that this video is not about my flying skills. <coughs> Excuse me. It's just about the, um, you know, the vanilla feeling of this game and how I can improve it in the future with freeware add-ons. Whoops. So yeah, so like I said earlier, I like the look of the trees already and I'm sure I can improve that. The ground, the ground textures don't look very good, but I kind of expected that, so that would be another thing I'll try to improve using freeware add-ons, the ground textures, because right now they look pretty bad so far anyway. The, the, the scenery from a, from a distance looks quite nice, it's got quite a good kind of bump map for the default one, but again the actual textures I'll be hoping to improve that, you know, I will be hoping to improve that. So it's not bad, it's actually not a bad, you know, vanilla experience but I'm sure I can very quickly improve this experience using lots of um, nice freeware add-ons. If any of you guys play Flight Simulator X and if you have already any experience with any other um, freeware add-ons for this game I would really appreciate it if you guys could let me know that would be awesome, I'd really appreciate that because I've already been searching around for some and I have found some but I'm sure there are some hidden that I have not you know, seen I'm sure that they will be great let's see if we can randomly land on this road down here just randomly, for fun I don't know how to change the flaps so I'm just going to leave it at, with like no flaps which is not that great for landing, but this is not a serious landing, this is just to end my video with a fun landing on a road. There are vehicles on the road, which is good, there's some kind of traffic. Um, I have a uh, i7-3770K um, CPU and I've got a 7970 GPU, and so far this game is running around 90 FPS, somewhere between 90 and 100 FPS so right now in the default it's it's really running very smoothly but you would kind of expect that right with um, quite an old game and yeah you can really see the ground textures are pretty bad like quite often in flight sims the ground textures they can be quite bad because obviously especially if you're trying to do the scenery for the whole world you know then that's quite a lot of scenery that you need to make. So yeah, quite often in flight sims the ground can not look great. Oh, look at this, it's like it's like a box car until you get up close to it, that's funny. Um, yeah, are often not that great when you're very close to them, but even for this one, when you're off the ground, it still doesn't look great. But actually, you know, like I, like I said, for a default experience, this is not that bad. I thought it was going to be much worse than this, but I'm, I'm so excited to see... Whoa, he's, he's really gunning it down there, isn't he? Um, I'm really excited to see whether this... You know, how much this can be improved in flights in using freeware add-ons. So, thank you for watching this video, and hopefully, guys, I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.